Okay, so today I'm going to read Because of Mr. Trapped and yesterday, if you remember, the last line was, no one had time to respond because another doctor walked in and this time it was our man. I'm on Jessica, 228 if you have the book. Jessica, Act 11, Scene 3, the door to the waiting room pushed open and another doctor walked in. Same lime green scrubs and matching cap. This doctor also wore a mask tied around his face. Jeffrey started hyperventilating again. Mom and I calmed him. We held hands on Jeffrey's lap. I squeezed Mom's hand and she squeezed back. What Was this it? The doctor reached behind his head and untied the mask. He was our guy. I saw him take that deep breath as he walked towards us. Luke. I saw Dr. Wilkins approach us. My heart took off like a car that had, that had its gas pedal mashed to the floor. So a good analogy. Please, please, please have good news. I repeated over and over again in my head. Mom squeezed my shoulder. Dr. Wilkins found a chair and sat with us. Good news, he said. Or good news, gang, he said. Mr. Trump made it through the surgery. Our faces broke into many smiles, and we let out our breaths of relief. I gave Mom a little hug. We were able to stop the bleeding, but your teacher remains in a coma, Dr. Wilkins continued. Why, Anna said. I thought if you stopped the bleeding, he'd wake up. Her voice rose and shook a little. I thought that was what was supposed to happen. Anna spoke for all of us, but instead, Dr. Wilkins answering, Jeffrey did. Now it's wait and see, Jeffrey said. He took a deep breath in and let it out slow. That The bleeding stopped is a good sign, deep breath, but that, that doesn't guarantee Trapped will wake up. We have to wait and see, more deep, slow breathing. Why was he so anxious? Because remember, the other kids don't know. His difficulties made me realize he hasn't visited the hospital but always seemed very interested in my report. What was Jeffrey's deal? That's right. We wait and see and keep hoping, Dr. Wilkins said. Can we see him? Or Peter asked. Not today, Peter. Mr. Trept is in a post-surgical room being watched carefully. Why does he need to be watched carefully? Anna asked, her voice barely a whisper. I thought he was okay now. We monitor every patient closely after a major surgery. It's normal, Dr. Wilkins promised. Mr. Trept is, going, is doing well at this point. We sat there looking at him. Like a team that had just lost their big game. Hey guys, don't give up now, Dr. Wilkins said. This is when your teacher needs you the most. This is good news today. And then Anna came through in the clutch. She took the lead and said what we needed here. He's going to make it. Trust me on this one. Be positive. Mr. Trump told me that once and he was right. Jeffrey. It was wait and see for Michael too. He didn't make it. That was when mom and dad's life suddenly crashed down different paths. I don't know if their paths will ever come together again. But I hope it. But it's going it's okay to hope. I hope Mr. Trump makes it. I'm tr trying real hard to believe Anna. Jessica, Act 11, Scene 4. Was this it? Wait and see? It felt so anticlimactic to sit all day waiting for an outcome, only to find it was time to go home and wait some more. People trickled out of the waiting room at different times. Some of the adults left first, probably because they were more accustomed to being patient. Miss Kelsey and Miss Warner left, and then some of my classmates. Only a few people were still sitting. Anne and Terry, Danielle and her mother. When Mom and I rallied ourselves to leave, Lexi and Jeffrey came with us. We were there right home. Wait and see. Anna. The waiting room slowly emptied. The next thing I knew, my mom and I were sitting directly across from Danielle and her mother. And hardly anyone else around. I felt uneasy knowing our mothers hated us. Her mother hated us, but I took a chance. Danielle, can we pray with you, I asked. Danielle didn't hesitate one second. Sure, she said. We bowed our heads, and Danielle led us in a prayer for Mr. Trept. It was a beautiful prayer, and afterwards I thought her mother's eyes looked differently upon me. So she probably did that because she knew the mom was a person that would took religion seriously. So she asked her to pray with her, kind of getting on her level. Mom and I left after that, leaving Danielle and her mother, Luke and his mother, Peter, Miss Williams, and Miss Newberry. How Close were Mr. Trept and Miss Newberry, both without wearing wedding rings. I didn't know, but my heart suddenly hurt for the teacher across the hall. She was definitely hoping to have him back. You didn't even need to be good at noticing things to see that. So many of us need you, Mr. Trep. Keep fighting. And I'm going to read um, Danielle and stuff for today. Danielle, can we pray with you? Anna asked me. I felt alarm rush through my mom's body. Couldn't. How could these sinners want to pray with us? Mom must have wondered. Sure, I said. Dear God, we're down here playing the wait and see game. It'd be great if you could keep us waiting, the waiting part short, and give us Mr. Trump back. There are lots of people hoping he wakes up. Please give us strength to keep hoping and believing as 
we keep going waiting. And God, I whispered this last part because Peter was sitting next to us. I ask also that you give extra comfort to Peter and Jeffrey too, though I'm not sure what's up with him. Amen. Anna's smart. She wants our families to get along, so she asked to pray together, knowing that God is important to my family. I know my mom can't think Terry's all bad if she's praying with us, and Anna is as nice and sweet as she is. I at least hope that I at least hope that's true. I've been asking God to help me get my family to see that Terry and Anna are good people. So we're going to stop for today.